Hey everyone, here with another quick update for you this morning. First, sexual education continues to be a top priority in Ontario. Second, a private member's bill seeks to commodify surrogacy in Canada. And third, ARPA releases a new policy report this week. Let's get right to it. We're embarking on a new campaign to engage with the issue of sexual education in Ontario, and the PC government in removing the previous curriculum has set itself right in the line of scrutiny on this issue. Join us in this discussion by encouraging the government to hold it to five principles. We'll focus on a separate principle each week. This week is principle number one, age-appropriate biology and anatomy. Now, even if your kids attend a private school or are homeschooled, this curriculum will affect your children's friends and neighbors and will influence the next generation of Ontarians that we will be living with. Go to this link right now to send an easy mail letter to your MP. National Post article on Monday brought up the topic of surrogacy. Originally, this article is from the Washington Post. It's the story of a gay couple from New York who decided to have a child using the gametes of one of the men and a donor egg implanted in a surrogate mother. Now, the article tells the story in a narrative form, how the surrogate enjoys being pregnant and the emotions and stresses involved in the process and details the high price tag that such a procedure requires. This article doesn't mention it, but it's hard not to draw parallels to a current private member's bill in the House of Commons, Bill C-404. The intent of the bill is to increase the number of people in Canada who supply gametes or sur become surrogates by permitting them to get paid for it. Now, some argue this is a victimless crime. However, there are two issues that arise from this. Commercial surrogacy commodifies children, it puts a price tag on them, and it puts a commercial value in the women's body as well. It commodifies wombs, gametes, and babies. Now this is to say nothing of the ethical problems of multiple implantation and disposal of unwanted human embryos, relationship between the child and their actual biological parents, and more. Go to this link right here and write an email on this topic to your member of parliament here in Ottawa. And finally, ARPA Canada has released its euthanasia report. A few weeks ago, uh, and quick updates, I was telling you about this, that the Canadian Council of Academies is studying expanding euthanasia, and their report is expected later this year. They're talking about adding euthanasia for children, for people with mental disabilities, and for advanced directives. In light of this, we've put this new euthanasia policy report out to counter the popular narrative on this life and death issue, and you can read that right here as well. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. See you next week with another quick update.